friends today at talent next we have some of our toppers with us to help you guide in your journey for pg preparation we have today dr rishabh jain with us who was rank 11 pgi chandigarh july 2018 and rank 4 in aims july 2018 i have with me uh, dr sankirat who is a junior resident in the department of medicine at aims new delhi he was rank 2 in the ini ct november 22 How did you go about your MBBS curriculum during your initial MBBS years? Okay, uh, so um, more or less, like let's divide it into like three professional exams. Primarily, because our college has three professional exams. Uh, so in our first professionals, we had anatomy, physio, and biochemistry. So back then, coaching material was not really that. primarily in focus uh because then it was classes it was textbooks it was more of you know listening to your teachers and doing what they want you to do at that point of time you have to stick to your textbooks because they lay the groundwork where you can expand on later on in later years of mbbs so i think that is the most important thing to be done in at least first and the second prof after that it depends upon it basically your journey wherever you want to take it So in the first year, I think for physiology, Genong, there is no uh, book that is parallel to Genong. I predominantly use B.D. Chaurasia, and along with that, I used an atlas by Netters. So Netters atlas is a very good atlas, which has very good diagrams, and in fact, those diagrams are itself asked in the PG entrances exams. So it is an it is a good idea to have Netters atlas along with reading Gross Anatomy from B.D. Chaurasia. B.D. Chaurasia is a complete book in itself. Uh, not unlike 30 years ago when during my parents time it was line diagrams now when bdc has good diagrams in it and it's a complete book for uh, gross anatomy regarding embryology uh, i think most of the students in aims read langman and that is the standard book for embryology not a tough book to read very good diagrams and again the diagrams are directly asked in the pg entrance Uh, exam those images are itself picked up from langman and asked in the question paper i use three resources for neuroanatomy snell's neuroanatomy uh, vishram singh and uh, bars neuroanatomy now bars neuroanatomy is a tough book to read it is a, a book predominantly made for post graduates in anatomy but it is a very good book especially for cranial nerves i would say and again cranial nerves is an important topic Uh, as far as your pg entrances is, uh, are concerned as far as uh, biochemistry goes uh, again here i used uh, harper as well as uh, leninger leninger only for two topics that is for your dna uh, basically any dna metab related topic is what i use leninger for nothing else and harper more or less for everything else so uh, as you moved on to the second year subject Uh, then what was your strategy the culture in aims is also such that it imbibes you to read pathology 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 and the gold standard of pathology from aims seniors is robins so a aims, beautiful book yeah very beautiful very well written book and i think everybody now reads robins and it is a very good book which will help you later in life as well i mean i know a lot of professors in the in aims quote robins to from their time as well so it is a book that everybody has read at some point of time in their life it is a really good book and the gold standard of pathology covers pathology uh, from every aspect be it prof pg preparation everything robins is one book that you can spend time on i agree it takes a time to read but it is one book you can worth investing your time in so there are three subjects in second prof like uh, right my pharma micro and pathology so i think you can invest time in pathology it will help you a lot in your pg preparation as well because a lot of questions from medicine and allied subjects will be covered in pathology so it is a good book to invest time in. so for pharmacology i think i studied for my uh, the kartung the bigger one but if you don't have that time there is a small review of kartung as well which gives basically the knowledge but but that is not enough even for the pg exam so that that is one thing other book available is kdd tripathi so it really depends upon the reader what how, how much, much you are, uh, familiarize yourself with the book for micro our classes were pretty good so i used to follow whatever they used to teach there but if you want uh, a textbook per se uh, there was apur shastri as well as uh, anant narayan which were the two textbooks i used there was also javits recommended but i didn't really read much of javits then especially virology i used levinson there's a book by okay. levinson yes. which covers immunology and virology 
so i uh, i read immunology and virology from that and rest i did from anand narayan i did not have that much interest in uh, forensics so i studied from parik it's a small short pocket book kind of a thing and uh, then as you came to third year is it this you know in third year that you started you know thinking about your uh, pg and how to go about your uh, pg preparation and how did you take on the clinics and the uh, subjects that you know clinical subjects then ensue from uh, third year i think is the year of change where you have a lot of options you can decide whether you want to stay here you go out so that was that period for me which when 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 i decided that i want to go for indian pg between, between indian pg versus us, US MLE. assembly yeah so that is the time when you have to take the decision uh, and that's the, i think the best time because after that it's a little late and before that it's a little early third and fourth year in general is that their books are bigger and the subjects are much more as compared to first and second year so you really need to know what to read because uh, you can't really manage clinical postings lectures along with college life so <laughs> along with college life which is which is very taxing <laughs> which is very taxing again so regarding the books that i used in third and fourth year uh, in medicine i used to get my book marked i read harrison not cover to cover but i think uh, out of the 2500 pages that there are in harrison i read around 400 to 500 which were important again so i got my book marked and read only the important topics from harrison and rest from that mini uh, review book of harrison, harrison. Uh, with regards to the p- questions that are asked in the prof for uh, clinical purpose i think either hutchinson or mcloyd either of those are good and you can follow that since i pursued surgery i had keen interest in surgery so f- at my time i studied from daily shorts and a b- bits of subsistence but i think everybody will not, not be that be interested so the 28th edition of dailies that has come out is very good and it has a lot of chapters are from indian authors So I so, think in coming time a lot of questions are going to be, be asked that, from there. that book, and especially right. the uh, revised part in urology, breast and endocrine. These three are majority by Indian authors. Or Orbs Gaini. I apart from the coaching notes, I ended up reading Sheshadri and J B Sharma. Only I read J B Sharma's flow charts because they would give you a very nice streamlined algorithm as to how to approach every symptom in Orbs Gaini. and i would recommend you to look at jb sharma if not for the entirety just for those flow charts and then finally for pediatrics it was op guy was a must in our college so uh, over and above coaching op guy is something that i read now so, you know next coming in ent of the will have a uh, separate uh, mm-hmm. exams so you would you tell you know something some book that you uh did for your ent and of the magic so i think for uh, uh ent studying i have the textbook uh, uh, the, uh, the textbook by dr ding rai is the good you can uh, study ophthalmology again is little tricky because the level that is i asked in iniict is uh, frankly up, according to me is pg level it's beyond pg level at times and in neat it's a little relatively simpler so uh, for that i think there is a textbook by dr vanathi she is from she is an aims faculty and that is that it has that information that you need and then if you obviously need to add on then there is khurana then you can definitely refer to khurana so, but that is a very concise textbook and it is a good one for psm again parks is uh, the go standard that everybody uses and the prof also asks questions directly from uh, parks parks for nsc i did not read any textbook i followed notes because i think hardly 5 to 10 10 is also overestimation oh, so around 5 questions are asked and for that i think you can entirely depend upon the coaching and for derma i think you should definitely study dr neena's no, textbook because the images that she has collected over the years and i think there's a separate atlas of she's recently published a separate atlas also which i think you can just buy at the end towards your end of your preparation just to revise the images how was i mean psychiatry also you read the uh, coaching notes psychiatry uh, actually i had a little i started to read so i had interest in psychiatry so there's a very uh, it's not a exhaustive book but it's a good book oxford handbook of psychiatry is there so that will uh, i don't know whether mcqs are made from that but my all i never got a question in psychiatry wrong because you that. because read. i read that and it doesn't take long it i think if you are at it it will take a, about a week or 10 days to read that book then finally when it came to ortho ortho i at that point of time i did 
think of taking Obzgaini or Ortho. So I read those in little more detail. But uh, Ortho, you can read from your coaching material and that's more or less sufficient for your exam. If you want to read something more and you need a recommendation, Apley's is also nice. And finally, did I miss out any subject? Radiology. Radiology. <laughs> 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 I think it yeah. goes along with all of these subjects, all so you have to, things. you know, keep doing it. But uh, primarily, I don't think you really have a resource which you can utilize in your uh, UG time, and uh, mostly the coaching uh, materials, Good. you know, goes yeah. through. And rest you do in your coaching, or I mean, even in your classes, you go along with it. Every subject has part of radiology mm. inculcated uh, into it. <laughs>